Hello everyone, welcome you back for the fiber reinforced, uh, fiber reinforced organic matrix composite and ceramic matrix composite. See, especially in the case of the ceramic matrix composite, what we are discussing is, is with respect to the animals or the living beings, what we are what we are seen in the ocean and as well as the seas. These uh, animals are nothing but the molluscus. Molluscus are a, a group of animals which lives in which lives in ocean and which carries the shell along with them. Uh, the five main types of molluscus shells materials which it, which differs in structure, composition and have been identified are prismatic, na nacreous, cross lamellar, fornicated and as well as a homogeneous and occurs along the side of the, uh, each other. See these are the, these are the group of category, uh, group of the animals normally or the what we can say the living beings what we see in the ocean or it may be in the sea these are the these are the different types of shells even these shells which has been uh, fabricated or manufactured or um, prepared prepared in a different fashion uh, in a different fashion and as well as even the color texture and even the pattern also most of these materials is nothing but a calcium carbonate the abalone shell the abalone shell is an, another type of the shell has has a brick and as well as a mortar the structure is a calcium carbonate brick occupying 95 percent 95 percent of its volume and the remaining five percent is microstructure being the organic matrix serving as a mortar the two layers are uh, present in the microstructure an outer prismatic layer which is a, especially a calcicate uh, which is nothing but a calcium carbonate and the inner inner uh, uh, nacreous la layer the aragonite it is the it is the it is a uh, nacreous layer that is found to display a good set of the mechanical properties the estimated tensile strength and as well as the toughness of the inorganic components vary but the value is somewhere around 100 to 150 megapascals for the strength and as well as rf of high of uh, 0 0.01 kjm squared and not uncommon the organic components is estimated estimated to be a super plastic and about uh, 20 to 30 nanometer thickness there is a tendency for the cracks in these shells uh, to be a temporarily arrested arrested at the boundaries between the layers uh, this is the this is the principally due to the ingenious ingenious way in which the easy and the difficult direction of the fracture depicted are in uh, are integrated in the structure the in the easy direction of the crack needs to only to pray uh, open open two planes in the in the in the direction in the difficult direction the crack have to pass through the lamellas see these shells are most of them are fabricated or uh, manufactured or created by means of the calcium carbonate as we know that these layers even these layers which has been uh, created is not in only one direction or it is having a what we can say the contoured structure or it may be a uneven structure where even if there is a, any impact or it may be a fractures that it won't it won't propagate uh, even if it propagates also the propagation it is not in a continuous but it's it is uh, passes through a different lamellas as the as the structure is of lamellas the crack propagation is also totally a difficult one the next topic what we are discussing is nothing but a biomimetic sensing see biomimetic sensing is a a peculiar and as well as the the another another uh, what we can say biosensing materials normally what we are discussing here in this is the cochlea bats and as well as the archites the another aspect of the smart structure the sensing parameter is studied with the three analog of the natural systems the first one is nothing but a cochlea the second one is nothing but a bats the third one is nothing but the archites in order to understand the principle use of the natural structure and sensing precisely the parameters of the engineering interest see here in these in these animals uh, either it may be cochlea or it may be a bat and as well as the archie the concepts are totally different with respect to the sensing but the man-made devices 
that senses the engineering va variables such as the shapes, distance, sound, strains and as well as the light becomes an uh, integral part of the major structural systems such as the submarines, aircrafts, engines and as well as photographic equipments. See these, these entire thing or it may be a something like a, what we can say a multifunctional one. The natural living beings especially in the case of the bat and as well as the coquille here these are the multifunctional in nature which senses the sound with a with a very variable what we can say the frequencies that to especially normally we used to call it as a decibels there are literally thousands of biological systems in which sensing of these variables takes place followed by the processing and as well as the actuation the first what we are discussing is is with respect to the cochlea uh, the first example pertaining to the study is nothing but a LS, LS, electroelastic behavior of auditory receptacles. The cochlea is an inner ear, is a transducer, a mechanical input of the cochlea from the sound source produces an electrical output. In the hearing process, a certain receptor cells and in the cochlea undergoes a substantial elongation with the, with the change in the electrical field leading in leading to the enhancement of the low amplitude sounds especially this cochlea is is used for the or it is uh, uh, it is it can have a, a frequencies varying from high altitude to low altitude the best example is even if we start whispering the sound even then also the what we are listening the sound even if there is a bomb blast also then also it will be listened but here, if the frequencies is varying, there may be a chances of the failure with respect to the eardrum. As such displacements was observed to be a phi order of magni magnitude larger than, than in which, which can be measured in that of the piezoelectric crystals and the same size of the for the same, same strength of the electrical signals. The superior performance of the receptors cells is attributed a unique microstructure designed of the walls is the best example for this incorporation incorporation of the man-made device uh, unusual principles of the designs are being used to obtain the uh, unusual effects and predicts the even a partial understanding of the principles may motivate a new thought of the design and devices see this one uh, here in this the, the left part is nothing but the ear part and the in inner part is nothing but a eardrum. After the eardrum, a semi semicircular channels will be there. These semicircular channels are are rela relating to the what we can say the cochlear nerve. 